appreciate you taking time this morning to talk to me. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Uh, and I'm excited about uh, this project of yours. I think it's really great. It's really helpful for folks. And um, it's just a great idea. Well, thank you. Um, Dave, uh, I'd, uh, I shouldn't say that. David, <laughs> I apologize for being, um, you know, a little uh, informal there. Uh, David, uh, for the people who don't know you, how long have you been in ventriloquism? Well, I started learning ventriloquism when I was about six years old. Um, I had a Charlie McCarthy doll and uh, Jimmy Nelson's record, Instant Ventriloquism. Matter of fact, I think I have a copy of it around here somewhere. Um, so, like a lot of, um, I guess, working vents today, uh, I started at a young age and, um, and learned it from listening to that record album. Uh, I started doing shows, I guess, when I was about, oh, maybe 10 years old, uh, around the community. Uh, I was fortunate to live in a small town where I could do shows uh, for the Rotary Club and the Lions Club and, you know, church basements uh, for people that would have me. And, of course, I probably had a good solid 15-minute act that I did. Uh, you know, and solid being uh, kind of a relative term, I'm sure. Uh, many, much of that material uh, directly out of the script that came with the uh, Instant Ventriloquism album. Um, when I got into high school, actually later in high school, um, I landed a job working at Kings Island in Cincinnati. And... Um, so then I was doing six shows a day, short shows, um, little warm-up sets uh, for on a couple of the big stages that they had there. And I think that's when I really kind of developed my chops as a performer and as an entertainer. Um, nothing like working all day, uh, every day, um, doing your act to really hone your skills as a performer. Okay. Um, now... How how long have you been uh, earning your living as a ventriloquist? Let me ask that question. Yeah, no, that's a great question. Uh, I'm going to say about um, 20 years. 